In this tutorial we are going to explore an easy way to create and animate lines and curves in 3GS. For this we are going to use a third party library called MeshLine. So as you can see we have this empty looking scene but it's not actually empty since it has post processing applied specifically on real bloom. First we'll install the module by running this command npm install MeshLine. Next we'll import these two classes MeshLine geometry and MeshLine material. Now, similar to how we'd create a curve using the built-in classes in 3GS, we'll create a geometry. Then, we'll create an array containing the coordinates of the main points of the curve and pass it to the geometry using the setPoints method. The next step is to create the material and here we can pass properties like the resolution, line width, color and more which we'll cover in a minute. Now we'll combine the geometry and material into a mesh and add it to the scene. To explore some of the properties which we'll need to create the animated heart, let's first transform this chaotic curve into a perfectly shaped heart using this loop. Check out the written version of this tutorial if you want to copy and paste this block of code, or you can use ChatGPT like I did to create a different shape. And there we go. Next, I'll disable the bloom effect for a moment. The technique we are using to create the animation is commonly used for animating SVG paths. That said, we'll simply make the line dashed and continuously increase or decrease the dash offset over time. To make the curve dashed, we'll use the dash array property. And as you can see here, we did get the curve dashed, but the dashes are white instead of being transparent. To fix this, we'll set the transparent property to true. This partially solves the problem, but the occlusion is still affecting the shape. To prevent that, we'll set the depth test property to false. And with that done, the dashes are now working perfectly and ready to be animated. To do that, we'll update the dash offset value in the animate function. Next, to make the animation look like it's created in one single line, I'll increase the value of the dash array. In addition, we can control the thickness of the line by passing a function as the second argument to the setPoints method. For example, if you want the curve to start thick and end thin, we'll pass this arrow function. On the other hand, if you want the curve to start thin and end thick, we'll use this function instead. And finally, I'll wrap this up with some floating and rotation animation. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.